All right, we're here with Keith Nowak at HTC. Uh, he's here to walk us through the brand new HTC Snap, the new uh, messaging phone from HTC. Keith, take it away. Snap, a brand new product. It is a Windows Mobile 6.1 standard device. It's got a really fairly easy interface. We have the jog ball on this, which is kind of unique for us. So you're able to go through the menu this way and this way and do all that good stuff. Full QWERTY keyboard, nice big easy to use keys. It's also a really thin device, so it's one of the thinnest QWERTY smartphones on the market. But despite that, it has a 1500 milliamp battery. So it's got a really great talk and standby time because of that. Um, since it really is destined to do a lot of email, HTC did build in one really cool feature, and it's called Inner Circle. And down here on the corner is the Inner Circle button. The idea here is that we all get a lot of emails, and sometimes you're always digging through it to find the emails from the most important people. With Inner Circle, you set your 5, 10, however many important people in your life, you check them off in your, in your contact book, you hit the Inner Circle button, and it'll bring all of those emails to the very top of your inbox. So you can do those before you get into the spam and the Victoria's Secret catalogs and stuff like that. Um, the other thing that's really great about this device is that this is actually HTC's first QWERTY, uh, Open QWERTY 3G device. So we're actually bringing that, we've had for many years the T-Mobile uh, Dash, which has been a very popular device. This sort of follows that trend um, of a big keyboard, of easy to use UI, in a very simple package. So we're really excited about this. It's going to be coming to the market mid-year. Uh, we've announced the global version for Europe and Asia, as well as an unlocked version for the US running on 850, 1900 MHz HSPA plus quad band GSM. Uh, but we do expect this product to be available widely throughout the rest of the year and for other outlets. Uh, so do we have a price point, uh, expected price we point? We don't have an official price point this time, but I would expect that when you see this coming out with a subsidy, very much entry level for a smartphone type device, probably in that sub-$150 range, I would expect. Okay, Keith, thank you very much. Thank you.